This tutorial is going to cover the cables you will find in the De La Salle 209 Student Station, C, also known as the Couch Area. First, you will see a VGA connection. Take a good look at this VGA cable and make sure none of the pins are bent or damaged. If they are, they, the VGA connection will not work for you. The VGA connection provides a video connection and it always is used in conjunction with an audio jack. Um, the audio jack transmits sound and the VGA cable transmits video. In addition, you will find an HDMI cable which transmits both video and audio. Since this back couch area is focused and created for collaboration, you will find four of these HDMI connections available for use. To start the Crestron unit, just select one of the sources found on the unit. This will automatically power on the system and display the selected source on the TV. I'm going to start by selecting Video Conference. This button um, allows you to create or join a meeting using the built-in Chrome box. If you press VGA, you will be able to display both video and audio using the VGA cable found at the student station. Same with HDMI, allows you to um, display with the built-in HDMI connection. Please note there are four HDMI cables to allow for maximum collaboration. Once you've connected the HDMI connection to your laptop, the puck will light up. If you want to present using this laptop, simply press the 1 button. You'll see that the puck will light up green, showing you it's on, and whatever's on your screen is, is projected on the display screen. If you have more than one connection at the back table and you would like to take terms presenting, please plug all your HDMI cables into the pucks. If it's your turn to present, simply press 1. You know you're presenting A because your screen is being displayed and the puck is green. If someone else would like to project their screen, all they do is press 1 and they're automatically projecting. When you're done, simply press off to turn the screen off. The Air Media button allows you to connect to the TV via Air Media and AirPlay also allows you to connect wirelessly to the TV via AirPlay. If you would like to connect with a Mac device using the AirPlay that's in the room, you will then navigate to the AirPlay icon located on your screen and select the room you're in. I'm in Miguel 307 so I selected the AirPlay for that room. Then a four-digit code will appear on the projector screen. I will enter that into my Mac laptop, hit OK. Whatever is displayed on my laptop will be projected on the screen in the classroom. If you have a Windows device, go to the Air Parrot icon on your laptop. This is, is what's going to allow you to connect through AirPlay. And once you've double clicked on the Air Parrot icon, a screen will come up and allow you to select the, the AirPlay for the room you're in. Once you've selected that, a four digit code will appear on the screen. You enter that code into your laptop, and whatever is displayed on your laptop will be displayed on the screen. The volume button raises and lowers the TV speaker volume. Select the play button to broadcast the video feed of this TV to the other TVs in the room that are turned on. The display off button allows you to mute the display of only the TV at your station. This prevents the TV from displaying anything. Press the system off button when you press the system off button, it turns off each and every TV in the room. Please ensure that you select the off button when you're finished with this TV. This will ensure that the power is off to the TV 